Okay, so inviting you to stand um, with your feet around about hip width apart. Maybe just with the hands dropping down by the sides. And uh, tuning in to the experience of the body in this position. Just as we might do at the end of a body scan to, uh, to notice the experience of the whole body and what may be coming up uh, within it just at the moment. Knowing that there's no right or wrong experience to have, but just to bring interest to what's actually happening, our direct sensory perceptions of now, uncoupled from the ideas about them that, that might um, limit our per perception. And we just let thoughts be thoughts in the background. In the same way, if we have ideas about um, um, movement practices, like I really like them, or I really don't like them, or uh, I'm not going to feel good, or I'm not going to look good, or I'll be better or worse than others at this. So even if we can let all of that go and actually our experience is just to notice what's here in the body, there are no goals other than this. And that goal can be achieved right now in the present moment by tuning in. And it's not dependent on the experience that we find. If you need to um, make a different movement from the ones I'm suggesting or to adjust, According to the feedback that your body gives you, please um, feel free to do this. So you're not locked into what I'm describing. Rather, your mindfulness includes listening to your body's experience and responding in a way that's uh, friendly and uh, wise. So if your body gives you sharp sensations, um, that's usually a signal that um, maybe you've uh, leaned a little further into a stretch than your body needs. At the same time, you might have thoughts that limit the possibilities of your body and tell you that you can't do something that actually your body says you can just now. So being mindful of those limiting thoughts too. Taking your attention, if you will, to your arms and hands and slowly raising them from the sides if you uh, if you will bringing them up to shoulder height and then turning the palms upwards and bringing them up towards the head Noticing the changes in the body's experience as we uh, as we lift the arms and now reaching up with the fingertips, if that's okay, towards the sky. And just as we stretch upwards, receiving the feedback from the body. Noticing the changes in sensation as we move and stretch. Now turning the palms outwards and slowly bringing the arms downwards, keeping the fingertips pointing towards uh, the sky. And as you reach the shoulder level, just inviting you to um, imagine that your hands are keeping the doors of a tube train open and you can just, just gently kind of push push outwards with the palms so just to stretch the arms in this way and to notice the sensations of this. If there's some discomfort and it feels workable, it's like a mild discomfort, you can just breathe with this, tuning to the feelings of stretching. But if it becomes too much, just drawing the fingers, uh, drawing the palms and hands inwards again. Maybe just having a play with it, gently pushing outwards, gently uh, withdrawing in. And now uh, lowering the arms with the fingers pointing downwards and coming back to the original uh, standing position, and just to maybe with an out breath, let go of any tension that might be here, 
I was closing the eyes for a moment and uh, tuning into the body. At any point during this practice, we can come back to anchor at the breath or uh, tuning into the feeling of the feet. Noticing any after effects of this stretch that we have just engaged in. What's here now? And uh, now inviting you to bring awareness to your uh, left arm and hand and uh, reaching up to the left hand side with this arm. And imagine you've got a, um, an apple tree out to this side and your hand is reaching out to a piece of fruit on this tree. It's just out of reach. You might find the left or rather the right heel uh, lifts up along with this stretch to Extend it a little bit, noticing the sensations in the arms, non-judgmentally, just being with the body. Reaching up, not going beyond your limits, just, just at the edge of possibility. Gently and compassionately present to the body. And now slowly lowering the left arm being in touch with the moving and the changing experience of the moving as the arm lowers. If we notice that our attention has wandered from the body and it's gone up into thinking, we can just acknowledge that as a normal human experience and inviting the attention back to anchor in the body. Now turning over to the other side, so looking out to the right and imagining there's an apple tree this way, and in the same way, reaching up and stretching out as if to uh, gather the piece of fruit. Staying present here, if this is okay. Just noticing the fluctuations from moment to moment. And maybe with the next out breath, we could lower the right arm slowly downwards. Taking a pause and when we pause, it's a good opportunity to check in to the, um, uh, to the sensations in the body now. Or any places where there's any intensity of sensation or absence of sensation, pleasant or unpleasant or neutral, just to notice and to meet with a sense of acknowledging, holding with kindness. Now with an out breath, bringing both arms up above the body and once again, palms facing each other above the head. And this time um, you can uh, sway like a tree in the wind. Just swaying over to the right hand side first. Noticing where in the body this affects our physical experience. Listening to it, not going beyond what your body's saying is uh, okay, which it will tell you through the quality of the sensations that are produced. And now coming back up and swaying over to the left hand side in the same way. But remember, it's a unique experience. So this is new and fresh. So can we meet it without the limitations of uh, believing in our concepts about it. Can we just tune into the feeling tones of this moment by moment? And now coming back up. And lowering the arms. Pausing. Pausing and staying tuned in to the body.
for our next movement we'll uh, uh, roll the shoulders so I'm inviting you to bring your shoulders um, if it's okay for them up towards the ears and in a circling motion bringing them round and down and up again and can we make this um, whatever uh, diameter of circle you like and make it bigger or smaller having a play with it we're in a state of non-competition with ourselves or others seeing if we can be in communing with our bodies by noticing the experience and responding accordingly if you want, you can choose to roll in the other direction. Isn't it amazing just to be in a body that consents and will move? even if it might not move in the way always that we would like or that it used to. We tune in just to the marvel of consciousness now. And letting the shoulders just drop into, into stillness, letting go of any tension that's consciously um, held on to here. And maybe just uh, taking a few um, deeper breaths, connecting in with the breath. And now could I invite you to place your hands on your hips. Um, uh, we're going to um, turn our upper bodies uh, to uh, to one side. Let's go to the, the left hand side. And so keeping the um, the body from the hips uh, facing forward. So just turning the the torso towards the left. So just noticing what's possible here. The shoulders may be moving round a little. Looking round to the left hand side. and tuning into the sensations this produces for you today. And now with an out breath, bringing the torso back to facing front and continuing in the same way to the other side, over to the right, looking out to the right, keeping the, um, the hips downwards, steady facing front as best we can a little looking out to this side tuning into the sensations that arise moment by moment Coming back to center, taking a pause. And now turning again, this time turning from the ankles. So the, uh, the whole of the body above the ankles can turn over uh, around to the left. You may find that there's an expanded uh, degree of movement here. If so, I'm just noticing this and playing with it seeing how far the body can move around, but without making it a competition. And listening to the body's feedback that tells you that's far enough. Which it won't do in words, it will only offer in feeling terms. And coming back to center, continuing round to the other side in the same way moving uh, from the ankles feet staying pointing front
looking around, perhaps behind you, noticing the different um, view that you can see as you look in this direction. The unique perspective of this posture. And coming back to uh, back to center. You can let the hands just drop down by the sides again. Noticing any after effects of uh, that last movement as they're arising now. And this next movement uh, involves a little bit of uh, um, balancing. So um, please take care of your body. But if a movement isn't a, um, isn't a movement that your body um, is okay to make at the moment, you can visualize the movement in your mind as an alternative to making it, or you can adjust it. So uh, for this mo movement, we could uh, lift up our left foot off the ground and just bringing it out to the side and bringing the arms up to support our balancing. And we can have a play and bring the foot out wider uh, if we want, and it's okay, but not having to. Just to see what's possible for us and this body now. There might be a little bit of wobbliness. And we can just kind of marvel at the body's automatic calibrating. Noticing the changing sensations, maybe more intensity as time goes on, choosing your moment to bring the leg back down. Knowing that you don't need to push yourself beyond any limits. It's going gently. And now maybe with an out breath, lifting the right foot up and the arms up in the same way. Pointing the toes out perhaps. And just being with the, the posture. Watching and experiencing. If there's discomfort, we could perhaps breathe into that discomfort if it's a um, kind of a dull aching sensation. If it's sharp, that might be a signal to let the posture go. And with an out breath coming back down when you're ready. Taking a pause. And uh, now we can practice some um, movements with the um, with the head and the neck. So for this, we can um, just begin by uh, dropping our nose downwards. So chin coming down towards the uh, the top of the chest. And then from here, just gently circling or half circling rather. Uh, around the right hand side so that the right ear comes towards the right shoulder and then rather than going around in a full circle just lifting the head up and as if you're painting a straight line with the nose uh, across in front of you so you're looking from right to left and then when your head is pointed out to the left can bring the ear round towards the left shoulder and then a half circle again, coming across in front with the, um, with the chin on the torso. And then we can make this movement a few more times. So like a half circle, nose coming across, Noticing any um, felt sense of extending in the neck, 
it clicks, stretches. You can maybe go in the other direction if you choose. Bringing an interest to the experience moment by moment, what's actually happening rather than our ideas about what's happening, which may or may not be aligned. Okay, taking a pause and opening up to the experience of the whole body. So uh, widening our attention to the whole body, expanding. And from this position, we're going to um, experiment with a forward bend. Again, if uh, your body doesn't need this, if you have uh, um, issues with blood pressure or you have glaucoma um, or lower back issues, then feeling free to miss this one out and imagine it. If it's okay for you, then uh, lowering the uh, head downwards, so the chin onto the chest, and this time continuing so that the head drops down in front of the body and the hands dropping down towards the ground, but they don't have to reach the ground. If you want to lower the, uh, if you want to bend the knees, that's fine. And just letting the head and arms hang in front of the lower body. Maybe just allowing a few breaths here and noticing what effect the breathing has on the posture. Letting go. How sensations are changing moment by moment. Now inviting you to lift the left uh, hand upwards so that the uh, palm becomes parallel with the floor and the arm, shoulders at 90 degrees and the rest of the body. Just pointing out this, uh, the fingers in front, tuning into the sensations of this. Remembering there's no goal in terms of achievement or state that we're trying to get to, we're just working moment by moment. And now with an out breath, lowering this arm back down in front. And we could bring up the right arm now in the same way. Stretching if, uh, if that's possible and feels workable. The body says yes. And with an out breath, lowering the right arm back down again. Just the upper body uh, hanging in front. With another out breath, we could start to uh, raise the, um, the upper body upwards and coming up from the hips. So uncoiling the, the spine, just vertebrae by vertebrae, coming up slowly. The head stays down, so the head comes up last. That's a reverse motion from the going down. And finally, the head coming up. And we might feel a bit of wobbliness as we um, revert to standing. We can just let the body find its balance, trusting it to do so. Maybe taking a few breaths. Now for uh, this movement, I'm inviting you to bring your arms out in front of you to around about shoulder level and just very slowly and gently and listening to the needs of your body, um, slowly bending the knees as if you're coming to sit down on a chair that's not actually here. 
but just very slowly and knowing that you can stop when you've reached a point at which your body says that's far enough. So listening to the feedback from the body, like to be a different point for each of us, having a play with it, tuning into the sensations, any intensities, and breathing with them if they're workable to stay with, perhaps finding a position where you stay for a few moments. Not being in competition with yourself or anyone else. And now maybe with an out breath beginning to come up, slowly, with friendliness to your body and letting the arms just come back down to starting position. Noticing how the body is just now. Perhaps anchoring your attention to your feet. And if you like, placing your hands on your belly, noticing the sensations of breath. Being aware of uh, fluctuations inside, perhaps the heart beating. Uh, a little quicker than it was, or maybe it's more noticeable now, or not, whatever's true for you. We uh, bring a kindly attention to the moment now. And we can just let the, the um, narratives that come up in our mind, the inner commentary happen by themselves paying attention to the body, now in stillness. And you might like to thank your body for um, moving with you. Appreciating being sentient in a body that uh, is able to, to move. And dropping the hands down by your sides. If there are any stretches that you want to make, and any parts of the body that are calling out for a stretch, feel free to offer this to yourself now or just to remain still for a few moments longer. You might like to make the intention to yourself to bring this quality of embodied presence to your experience as you move into the rest of your day, into the next moments of your day? Can you bring these same qualities of mindfulness into your physical movements and receive the feedback in your body from the world as you make these movements? Thank you.